Hello everybody, today we have beautiful Dell Latitude 7420, it's an Intel Core i7 11th gen laptop. Let's take it apart, let's see what we can upgrade, fix or replace. Let's start. Start with bottom screws. Now find the gap and separate the bottom from the palm rest. Use only plastic tool, otherwise you can scratch your parts. Okay, now the bottom is out. Here we have the part number. Now we can access all the internal components. So let's start with disconnecting the battery. Okay, now we can take it out. So if your battery doesn't hold the charge or it's swollen, you can replace it. All right, that's our part number. And the battery type. Our storage, if your laptop doesn't boot, says that there is no boot device or you would like to upgrade your storage to the bigger one. This is how you can do it. So unscrew these two screws for the cover. That's our cover. And that's our actual drive. All right, that's the NVMe SSD drive. Here we can see our Wi-Fi card. So if your Wi-Fi doesn't work, you can replace this card. Unscrew this one bracket and gently disconnect the antenna wires. Those are very fragile, so don't smash them. And now we can take out the Wi-Fi card. Here we have model and part number. Now let's take out our speakers. So if your sound is bad, you can replace speakers. Unplug it from the motherboard. Now both speakers are connected, so watch out for the cable. Okay, now the speakers are out. Here we have the part number. Now let's take off the heatsink fan assembly. So if your cooling doesn't work or the fan is making grinding noise, you can replace these parts. Be very gentle, don't bend the heatsink. Otherwise it won't work if you bend it. So after you unscrew these few screws, So that's our heat sink. Here we have the part number. And that's our fan disconnected from the motherboard. Here we have the part number. Here we have our processor CPU. It's soldered on the motherboard. So if it doesn't work, you have to replace the whole motherboard. So let's take out the motherboard. So start with disconnecting all the remaining ribbon cables and other connectors. Mm. Disconnect the video cable. To disconnect this cable, you have to flip that retaining clip. 
Now we can take it out. Now take out all the remaining screws. Okay, now we can take out the motherboard. Uh, here we have the part number. As you can see, the memory is soldered on the motherboard. We cannot replace it. So if the RAM memory doesn't work, you have to replace the whole motherboard. Now we have our palm rest keyboard keyboard assembly with the touchpad. So let's take out the screws for the hinges. Now gently unfold the hinge. Now we can take out the keyboard and touchpad. So, the touchpad is held by these tiny screws, so if you need to, you can replace just the touchpad. Let's see the keyboard. Looks like keyboard is also held by screws. Could be wrong. Yeah, I see screws here. So yeah, you could replace just the keyboard if you need to. But very often it's this part is sold in one piece, the keyboard touchpad panels assembly. If you need parts, check gutlaptopparts.com. Here we have the part number. And that's our screen. Here we have our part numbers. Screen usually is sold in one piece. It's very fragile. Like I would advise to not to take it out. Otherwise you are risking breaking the screen. So look for the whole assembly. Check gutlaptopparts.com. All right, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.